Hi, Mommy! So, for today, very interesting and useful yung topic natin ngayon. It is actually a requested topic kung ano daw yung effective na contraceptive or method na ginamit ko para hindi ako mabuntes after kong mga na. Actually, itong method na ito, effective din siya kahit hindi ka mommy, okay? So, mommies, in this video, ang pag-uusapan natin are yung two effective na methods or contraceptives na ginamit ko, which is number one, which is yung calendar method. Susubukan kong i-explain sa inyo in a simple way kung papaano namin or ko nagamit effectively yung calendar method. Method. And number two naman, which is yung DMPA, this is yung injectable na three months siyang effective. Isha-share ko sa inyo kung ano yung experience ko with this one, if effective nga ba talaga siya, and kung ano yung mga side effects na naramdaman ko. And also, pag-uusapan natin kung magkano ang DMPA, kung affordable ba siya for three months of effectivity. Disclaimer lang, mommies ha, these are just based from my experience and from what I've read. Hindi po ako doctor or a professional, so it's always best to consult your doctor, okay? So anyways, number Number one is yung calendar method. Sa calendar method, I consider three things. Number one is yung first day ng last menstrual period ko. Alam na alam nyo siguro ito, mommies. And number two naman is yung menstrual cycle mo. So for example, kung 28, 26, or 30 days ang menstrual cycle mo. However, meron akong nabasa, mommy, na kapag beyond daw 32 or 35 days, it is considered na daw na irregular yung menstrual cycle. So, ibig sabihin, hindi po pwede dito sa calendar method yung mga mommies or yung women who have irregular menstrual cycle. And number three naman na consider ko, mommy, is pang sure na sure talaga, is inaalam ko rin yung ovulation period ko. So, for example, mommies, 28 days yung menstrual cycle mo. By the way, mommies, ang menstrual cycle, ito yung every ilang araw bago ka mag-mens uli. Hindi ito yung kung ilang araw ka nag mens no? Now, considering na 28 days yung menstrual cycle mo, and, for example, yung first day ng last menstrual period mo is September 27. So, ang, ang gagawin mo, bibilang ka ng 28 days mula sa September 27 and all the way to October. Ang makakam up mo doon is October 24. So, yung October 24, yun yung next na period mo. Now, the question is, kailan yung safe na days or yung days na hindi ka mabubuntis? So, ako, ang bilang ko is usually 7 days before and after. For some, they are using... 10 days before and after. But ako, um, effective sa akin yung 7 days before and after. So, bibilangin ko. Mula 24, magbibilang ako ng 7 days before. And magbibilang din ako mula 24 ng 7 days after. So, if you notice, mommy, dun sa counting natin sa after, kasama yung days na meron kang period. So, yes, talaga, mommy, sa calendar method, kasama talaga yon. And maybe it can be considered one of the disadvantages. Kasi nga, syempre, yung days na meron kang period, hindi pwede, ba? But anyway, mommies, it is very effective. Now, number three naman, mommy, na lagi kong consider is yung ovulation period ko. Hindi na tayo gagamit dito ng, ano, ng calendar, ganyan. So, ako, mommies, para malaman ko yung ovulation period ko, ang ginagawa ko, nagsisearch ako dyan sa Google. Napakara Kami dyan, mommy. Sasagutin nyo lang and then mag a na talaga doon kung alin yung ovulation period mo. The reason why inaalam ko to dahil para alam ko kung ano yung mga dates na hindi talaga pwede dahil during that time nag ovulate ako or nangingitlog ako and it is most likely na makakapag-conceive kami kung gagawin namin on those days. So yun yung mga red flags. Hindi talaga pwede yung mga yon. So, let's do a recap, mommies. Yung my heart dyan, yung September 27, yan yung first day ng last menstrual period ko. So, ang susunod kong period ay sa October 24. Kaya ako nakuha yon dahil assuming na 28 days ang cycle ko, nagbilang ako mula September 27 ng 28 days. That's why I came up to 
October 24. Yun yung approximate day ng susunod na menstruation ko. At para malaman ko yung safe days ko or yung days na hindi ako mabubuntis based from the calendar method, magbibilang ako ng 7 days before kasama yung October 24 and 7 days after mula October 24. So yung mabibilang ko doon, yun yung mga days na safe ako even without using any contraceptive like condom or anything. At yung mga X marks na yan, mommies, yan yung mga araw kung kailan ako nag-ovulate. So, ibig sabihin, nagre-release ng egg yung ovary ko at pwedeng-pwede akong mabuntis on those days. Nakuha ko yung mga date na yan by means of searching sa Google yung ovulation calculator. Sinagot ko lang yon and then yan yung nag-appear na ovulation period ko. Ang ginagawa ko lang, mommies, yung result na nakukuha ko sa internet, nag a ko ng one day before and after para mas sure. Now, mommies, let's move on to DMPA. Yung sa DMPA, mommy, it has to be prescribed by a doctor. So, kailangan pumunta ka ng clinic para ma-prescribe sa'yo yon and it can be administered to you. Yung DMPA daw, mommy, is very effective dahil it prevents you from ovulating and also it thickens yung mucus dun sa cervix mo para hindi makapasok ang sperm. However, mommies, there are disadvantages din naman daw ang DMPA and here are some of the ones that I've read. Number one is pwede ka daw madeli yung fertility mo. And number two, pwede ka magkaroon ng uh, bleeding, irregular bleeding, or spotting, and so on. And of course, may mga advantages din naman, mommies. Number one, pwede siya sa breastfeeding moms. So ako nun, exclusively breastfed si Amira, and yun, nag-DMP ako. So far, okay din naman siya. Number two, long-acting. Yes, mommies, it is really effective for three months. So three months yung effectivity niya, and dun sa claim niya, it is 99% effective. And yes, I think based from my experience, it is really effective. Now, mommies, pag-usapan natin yung mga side effects ng DMPA. Here are the ones that I've read about yung mga side effects niya. So, number one is yung headache, weight gain, acne, mood swings, and change of sexual interest. So, sa lahat nun, ang na-experience ko is yung headache talaga. Yung sa acne, hindi. Ngayon, <laughs> tingin ako nagkaka-acne. <laughs> and the rest, wala talaga. So, yung headache lang ang na experience ko na side effect niya. Plus, yung headache naman na na-experience ko is hindi naman yung super super sakit. Yung tolerable naman at hindi naman araw-araw masakit yung ulo ko. Although, I noticed lang na biglang sumasakit yung ulo ko, ganon. Now, mommies, pag-usapan natin, magkano nga ba ang DMPA? So, based from my experience nung ako, that was two years ago, I paid for 500 pesos. Yun lang, mommies. I hope nakatulong tong video na ito sa inyo. And I hope na-explain kong mabuti yung dun sa calendar method. At sana naintindihan nyo yun. Just comment below kung meron kayong ano, violent reaction sa pagkaka-explain ko. So, yun lang. Always stay positive and choose to empower other mommies.